everybody. Hi. Hi, it's me, Linda, the Corsita Jewel Lady. Back for a night of fun on this Wednesday. Um, we sell $5 jewelry. You probably already know that. And that includes everything. Hi, Kristen. Happy Wednesday. Hey, Lori. I know I'm like a minute late, but I was running around here, of course. Then there's Alana. Yeah, there's my gang coming on. I'm going to wave to all you guys. I guess the more interaction I have with you, the better my algorithms get. Hmm. And then there's Shelly and there's Christy. Boy, we got the gang back today. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Well, you know, if you don't get here on time, you can always join me on um, a replay because I always do, you know, as you know, get these, uh, keep them on my Facebook page. So, hey, everybody, here we are today. So, I have a lot, a lot of stuff to show you. A lot of good things came in. You know, this is going to be great. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, this is the um, Sunset Sightings from July. Yeah, I just had to do it. I just thought, why not, you know? It's really a pretty set. And if anybody's interested, I have two more sets left. So, um, you know, you can put it out there if you want them. These earrings are the bomb. Look at these. I just love these. Anyway, let's see here. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, hi, everybody. Um, first of all, I'm going to let the people who don't know me, uh, my name is Linda, and I am the Course of the Jewel Lady, and we sell $5 jewelry. It's paparazzi. I'm an independent consultant with paparazzi accessories, and honestly, the jewelry is only $5, but it's not $5 quality. Ask anybody you know, well, ask anybody who visits me because they'll tell you it's not a $5 uh, quality jewelry. It's very good. And it just keeps getting better and better and better. I love it. I really think that, you know, I landed a gold mine when I landed with this. You get great things and they're beautiful. And if you, hey, Mary, I know. I'm telling you, if you didn't get this set, I have two of them left from July. You know, a lot of times I want to make sure that you guys see how gorgeous this stuff is. And I, I know, I know you already know how gorgeous it is, you know. Did you know when you have blue eyes and you put on like a gold or a rust color, it brings out the color more? So that's what I did today and I even changed up my lipstick to, instead of going red, I went with a, like a sunset setting kind of copper color because basically in this is all of these like sandstones here and they kind of like that fool's gold, it kind of shines. But anyway, you know, um, well thank you love, but you know what, I'm with a bunch of beautiful ladies here too. So like I said, when we dress up for each other, you know, and that's what it is. And um, for those of you who don't know me, um, like I said, I am a paparazzi uh, independent consultant and we sell $5 jewelry and um, we also ship it. If you buy one to four pieces, the shipping costs are $4. And if you buy five or more, the shipping I pay for. So it's always better to get the extra piece and save yourself the money and enjoy this fabulous jewelry. So, all right, right out of the gate. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody, you know, really did good today, this week, all, so far and everything. I know I've had a pretty good week. The weather's been pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it over winter any day. And let me see here. Oh, geez, we got everybody on here. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll just start things out with a few of these premier preview pieces that I have. And so we're going to start out with, I only have one of these. And so this is number 60. And it is a necklace that has a gold tone to it with creamy pearls. What I really like about this is that they have taken the pearls and like hooked them together without being tied. We well, see you've got the little um, seed pearl there and then the regular pearl and then the other one. So it gives it more movement. It makes it, it actually goes from being more, um, more casual, I think. And here we got a little crink in the chain there, but it's a great length very nice you can wear this dressed up of course but you don't have to i think basically because they put it on that chain and it has a two inch extender so that's what this one looks like i think it's really pretty very very nice and i only have one of these so are they going to come out with this i hope so i mean i think it's a great piece and again i'll show you the earrings so you can just see how creamy everything is Creamy pearls, ladies. All of these delicious, 
beautiful pearls. And the length of it will probably come to about here. Now today I'm wearing a longer necklace, let me show you, because you know I don't always wear them. Look at this. Now, I guess if I touch my screen, I might, there, oh, it worked. My marketing manager, it worked. I always fade out. She said, touch the screen. Look at this. Okay, so what do you think about this? Really elongated. For, at first, trying to reconnect. Okay, maybe I shouldn't touch my screen. Basically, I wanted you to see this. Because ladies, really, if you haven't bought in this one yet, and I'll, I'm gonna go break this computer. <laughs> it's trying to reconnect, stop. I mean, it works every other time, right? Yeah, I know. And what I like about it is I actually started to wear it up here. But then I thought, you know what? I'm actually gonna wear it longer. Now, you won't get to see it. Maybe if I move this down more. But what I wanted you to see is they're absolutely right. This line makes it look slimmer, takes your eye all the way down, really accentuates a bigger piece of real estate in here. So if you are shying away from longer necklaces, don't, because they really do work. I mean, I, I have often wondered why they had, oh, 60 yours, Lisa, okay. Let me get that for you, but sit here talking away. And I gotta, we won't we'll be wrapping it up and crinkling. I got something else here to do for you guys. So Lisa gets number 60. Okay, and um, yeah, so just to go back on what I said is just don't think that um, you should shy away from them because they are very flattering. And hold on a second here. We'll put that like that. That way I know that one's sold. And I have Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Yay. You all remember Debbie? She was that beautiful lady that was sitting on the edge of the bed there with that big bezel bracelet on and the... Um, drop hoop earrings. Love those things. I hope they come out with more of those bracelets. Those bracelets are the bomb. Really, really, really love them. So um, Lisa has number 60, but we're back to the long. Now, okay, here's the earrings. I love these. First of all, they're extremely light. And I'm just kind of showing it to you again, even though I'm going to be getting a new fashion fix real soon. Let's hope the mail gets it here by tomorrow or Friday, and then I can show that, the whole demonstration of that one on Saturday. If not, I have a lot of bling, so I'm not worried about it. And what I wanted to say is I have two of these left for sale, complete sets. With the sets, you're gonna get the earrings. You're gonna get this necklace. This necklace will come with its own little pair of earrings, as you know, as it or always does, but I just really want you to see this. If you didn't get this, how gorgeous this is with this with all those little specks of gold in there. And then, of course, you get this bracelet, which I tried on for you guys when the last time came. And it seems now that since I've been wearing it more, because this is my set, remember I told you there was a gap in it? Well, it kind of seemed to stretch out a bit, so I don't really have that gap anymore. So if you're shying away from things because your wrist is too big, um, it's working and I love this middle one. And then of course you get this other bracelet. So it's a four, four to five piece with the earrings from the necklace. But I mean, for $20, you guys, it screams just fun and beauty and sunshine and sunset and everything. Then I paired it up with this ring that I have here, which was one of my favorites. And I only have two left. And let me just show you that one real quick before we go on. I hope they come out with this one again too, because this is really pretty. There's that cognac stone and then regular stones. Well, that was a champagne and then the regular kind of more smokier one. So if anybody likes this, just say gold ring and I have two of them. And then of course this ring here and the number on, I'm going on with my computer here, is this copper, this medallion one. And well, I'll tell you what, on this ring, if you like it, it is number 13. So just remember that, number 13. And I can't show you the card, it'll be backwards, but that's it. And then this one here, which is, I have a pretty good, well, I did have a pretty good, I have three of them left. So if you like this, and then this is number one, okay? All right, and then again, you know, look how pretty. They're just really pretty. They go with the whole thing, they match. And these bracelets really are cool. So don't shy away from that. And let me just tell you a little something here, a little station break. 
Um, you all know that my daughter is a young living essential oil distributor and we love it around here. I, once you start using that stuff, you get addicted to it. And she said that there was a recipe put in that, you know how you go and you buy those flavored waters and they cost like $3 a bottle and you're like, yeah, it's really good, except they can't drink this all day. Well, we all know that if we want to clean the body, we have to drink a lot of water, flush it out. And after a while, water can get very monotonous. Well, they said to take like two to three to four drops of, let me get it here, spearmint and three, three to four drops of lime and put it in your glass. And then you can all go out and have one made like this. Remember, I am the cover of my own magazine. And then you mix it in there. Pop, pop, quenching. It, it feels like, you know, your Wrigley spearmint gum or something in your mouth. It's so great. So if you're looking for any of these oils, contact Alana because she can get them for you and uh, work that out with you. But I'm, I'm doing this because I found something really good and I know a lot of you are looking for ways to keep a cleansed body during this time and take off a little bit of the quarantine 19 pounds that we all seem to add on the last three months. Oh, hello, Aurora. Oh, they do. Essential oils are great, really. And I don't think I've met you before, but welcome to our group. This is our virtual corner where we talk about jewelry and feminine things and makeup and hair. And there's my buddy Sharon right there. I was wondering where you were at, love, and there you are. Um, so if you just, if you really want something truly, really refreshing, think about this. Spearmint and lime essential oils. Now you can get essential oils anywhere, um, but these are edible. So that means they're not going to interfere and they're not going to like deliver some poisons to your system or, you know, preservatives or anything. They're natural. They're right to the real thing. And I've used the lime in my cilantro lime rice. And if you talk about a pop, it's a pop. So there's other uses for it. But, you know, to think about how much you spend on that, that water is just crazy. So, you know, it's just one of those things to save a little bucks and really a great way to kind of clean the palate all the way down. So I'm just going to say that. And then, of course, we're all going to get that mug, right? I am the cover of my own magazine. Right? Yeah. Okay, next piece. For all of you girls, ladies, who can wear a choker, number 59, this is in gold. I only have one. It has, I'm going to say about a three to four inch extender, but well, check this out. All of these discs and they shine really, really nice. Look at that. So you could wear this. Let me get my little bust out here and I'll show you. You don't have to wear it as a choker. You can wear it just like that. And of course, with that extender, you could wear it really low. But I mean, talk about bang for the dollar there. Number 59, if you like this, I hope they come out with this because I just, I had visions of getting two or three and then graduating them. Because if you had that, it's very light and then have another one and another one. And what you do is you take up this whole area here and it's light catching. And whenever you get light by your face, you know, you look younger and you look prettier. So if anybody would like to try, okay, let me go back here, make sure nobody else share it. Looks like Eileen Franklin got that one, okay? Let me get that one for Eileen. This is neat. And if these come out in the new releases, um, definitely gonna be getting them. So let me just get this for Eileen. And today, I was one happy camper. Um, I heard a lot of people complaining that they couldn't get what they wanted in new releases, but I struck gold. And you guys, wait until you see what I have coming. I have so many good jewels. I'm getting good at this right there on it. So yeah, so let's just, um, I'm gonna wave right at Lisa because I don't think I did. I guess the more that I wave at you guys, the better my algorithms get and all that fun stuff. So um, yeah, I'll have to do that, right? Because I want, I want Facebook to know I mean business. So I have another necklace here. Talking about a longer one, remember this, how good that looks coming down really very slimming. I mean, you know, I'll take anything I can get to look slimming, right? So um, here's another one that's longer, and this is number 57. I only have one. 
It's another preview piece and it comes with these earrings that have this, let me show you. It's almost like an iridescent kind of a brown, maybe a tan, but you can't really tell because the light shines off of it in a really neat way. And then what you have is that real sparkly chain that I talk about all the time that reminds me of like a, it's right on time, right? Okay, if there's one thing in life that's for sure, it's death taxes and the train that comes by my house at 717, right? No wonder I could never watch any of my TV programs. Never knew that before. And of course, he's got to blow his horn from here to the two miles away. So, yeah. See, if I lived in the rich neighborhood, we wouldn't have this. Privileged area, right? Well, I do live in a very nice area, though. It's just the dang train. So we're back to the chain train chain train right chain and that's that kind of like almost sterling silver look or 14k i love that sparkle in there and at the end of this is this charm here and it has these same matching ones that are on the earring and then they have this kind of movable almost like an arrow going down so let me put that on the bust for you now i like it particularly like it because of this chain. I think that chain is just, makes the whole piece. So if you like this one, that's number 57. Yeah, right there. Really cool piece. And I would think on this one, let me put it on the longer bust here to show you how long it would be, how far, it depends on, you know, like all this in the middle and all that, what it has to go over. But basically it looks to me like it's gonna come right about here. So that is, that's a striking piece. So that's number 57, if anyone likes that one. And because these are uh, like a tan, as far as the, um, the little uh, beads in there are tan, I have a bracelet here. I have to show you this, isn't this cute? I had to buy this because I'm a sewer. I was like, oh, that's so cute. So yeah, I thought this would work really well down here so you wouldn't hear all this crackling all the time when I'm showing these. Anyway, this is number 58, and this is a stretch bracelet. And look at those like tan, almost like a, well you decide if this is a color that, whatever you think that is, because it's got like a more tan feel and then kind of an off yellow, but really more tan, more light, light tan, yeah. And, um, 57 for Mary Thomas. Okay, let me grab that for you, honey. And I'll put you back up here. But talk about slimming, you know, when you wear those longer ones. And I tried it today, too, and I thought, yeah, this really does work. It takes the eye down. And like I said, for me, I'll do anything at this point with the uh, extra poundage that went on during, over, the, um, over the holiday of the pandemic, you know. So now we're back to 58. This one will fit everybody. It's got that stretch. I can try it on for you. Of course, you know, you're gonna see the little card in here, but that doesn't matter. But if you like that along with everything else, I could actually have an arm party right here. So that is number 58. And if you're looking for that color in a stretch bracelet, along with a, a silver tone color, that's great. And it also has those silver tone beads in here. Some of them are faceted. So that makes for a really nice um, reflection of light. So let me put that one here. 58. All right. Now, the next one fits in that category of like that urban grunge kind of glamour chic thing. Um, it's in the urban but I think it's more for a woman. It has that slip knot. So those are really popular right now. And basically that means this is gonna fit everybody. But let me show you the charms on this because that's why I just thought it was something that would go more for a woman. There's, there it is, the dragonfly, right there. I don't know, I think it's, well, I, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that it could go for anybody, but to me, there it is. And then you have all those really colorful beads in there. A lot of, there's a leather band in here that's got this silver rondelles on there. 
and then it all comes in into this slip knot in the back and all you do is pull it like that and then you pull it put it back on and you pull it back so that's a really it's a look right now that's out there all over hey Elaine I'm gonna wave to you dear I don't know what happens on your end when I do that but Facebook will look at my algorithm and they'll like me better so this is number 62 so if you want to try something new I mean Again, why not? You have, let me just get this so you can not get it all mixed up. There's actually three bands in here. Colorful, and let me put it on because I'll show you how it fits. And then I get it over here and I pull the slip knot. And basically that's what you're gonna have on your wrist. Now I have a lot of stuff going on here, but you know, it's casual and it's kind of nice for um, like if you're gonna go to work or you're gonna hang out somewhere you know if we can hang out <laughs> but you know what I mean like in, in the real world before all of this so that is number 62 and again it's something you might want to try if you want to do something different than bling and all the other things that we've been trying then I have a pair of these are drop hoop earrings with these little red beads on them very, there's all that kind of filigree work on here and this is number 61 of course the drop hoop wires but what I like about this is look at this it goes it's not too long but it's very shiny when you're wearing them and again I love drop hoop earrings for that reason you get a lot of bang for the dollar on something like this so you know um, if you want to snatch these up because you have some red in your wardrobe and your jewelry wardrobe or there's a top that you have that's red that you want to go with this this would be the time to get them I don't see a lot of drop hoop earrings in their collection that have color on the a drop hoop so that's kind of unique right there and that is number 61 And um, you know what? It was very humid today, almost like we were in Louisiana today. I'm not kidding. I felt like Florida weather was like, whoo. But you know, it's July, so you know, it's the heart of everything. All right, I have one pair of earrings left, and these were on my board yesterday, and they sold out. And then they sent them in my premiere preview. So I was like, well, this is really cool. So this is number 63, and they're post, and they're like, I, I did like an onyx in there. And it's like they're exploding like a starburst. And I think that is the name of them too. But there's your post. And again, for people who can't wear earrings now that are lengthy because of masks that you might have to wear to work. Um, healthcare professionals, I know you're out. You're just, you're not wearing anything and I get it. Um, people in dental, the same thing. But you know, anybody who works in an office or maybe you like, you just like earrings and you're working in a place that you can wear them, but you need them to go over a mask to go over them. I'm going to be pulling in a lot more of these post earrings because just because I think we need them. So that is number 63 and if anybody likes those oh 62 Ooh, Elaine Ooh, she's taking a walk on the wild side today right all right let me get your name on this yes it was very very humid today at least where I was at I know that Shelly has those earrings. Yep, because actually I ordered them special for Shelly and I, I actually got another pair thinking, you know, how will these go over here? And you know, again, I have a lot of earrings. So when I show them, maybe you're just not in the mood for that kind of earring, but when I put them on my one and done, they flew out of here. So that was really good. So I think going forward, like I'm gonna have these impromptu sales when I come down to one or two pieces of jewelry that I really do need to kind of move out. I'll just have an impromptu, you know, take a look at it. Maybe it's something that you would like to have. You haven't seen it before because maybe at that time you got up to get a cup of coffee or something and didn't see it on the presentation or maybe you missed a night. Um, and that'll be just fine for me because um, you can always, yesterday I was so busy after that sale whoa but I'm, I'm happy because I needed to move some of the inventory and they're great pieces so um, yeah 
Let me just go forward now. I'll put that over here. And I'm gonna bring out the rings next. I think this is a good time. I have everybody here. I did score a lot of really good rings. So first off, I, I wore this one today. I couldn't help it. If there was ever a stone that was a, a, a dupe for a Swiss blue topaz, it is this one. And I'm going to wow you. This is going to be number, let me get the number for you. This is number 112. Look at that. There's bling on the side and all those different shapes. This ring is absolutely drop dead gorgeous on, let me show you. There you go. Okay, Kristen Cohn, okay, let me find that one and I'll start writing up the orders. in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. So let me get this open here and I'll get yours off and we'll start. I have been finding some of the most beautiful rings that I, I, I can't believe they can make these, this stuff. These rings are, wow, they're very, very pretty. So that's Kristen Cohn wants the um, 112. Okay. And uh, if a lot of you are thinking, well, you know, I need to kind of just do the, um, I have to do the um, paper and pen thing till the end and then, you know, tell my order later, that's great. I do have a decent quantity of these. So if anybody else, okay, there's, oh, wow, y'all, y'all doing it, huh? All right, and there's Rudy. Rudy, do you want one too? All right, so I got Kristen, and then I have Christy wants one. Okay, let me get that on Christy. Believe me, when you wear this, you will not regret this purchase at all. It is oh, amazing. I just was like, wow. The design teams are just phenomenal on this. And then we have Shelly wants that one. Hold on. I know. Okay, so what I have here is I have Kristen Cohn's getting one, and then I have Christy getting one, and I have Shelly getting one, and I have Rose watching. Hello, Rose. I am showing this dupe for a Swiss blue topaz, and um, it is number 112, so let me know if you're interested. Let me put the lens on for you so you can see it clearly, but I'm telling you, I'm a blue topaz lover. And these, this is, a, it's just a dupe for a Swiss blue topaz. And I think it's gorgeous. So if you would like one too, let me know. When, because I say I have it on a key ring and I have the key ring open. I can reopen it later if anybody needs me to. But I just wanted to put that out there that um, I do have it here and I have a decent quantity and I am buying in better quantities now so that everybody can get one. So I'm gonna put this one to the side now. And I'm going to bring out some more of these because these are fantastic. All right. What I have here is a one and done. So this is a number 110. This here, with the person who claims it, look at that enamel at. That looks like. It almost waves and then it's like a blue cat's eye and then that feather on it. So this, like I said, is 110. I only have one. So let me just get back here. 110 is Eileen Franklin. Uh, I thought that would be the person to get this ring. I did, but I didn't want to jinx myself. I thought that's an Eileen ring. I just knew it was going to get that you were gonna get that one. So let me get this together for you. And the tags off of it. Brand new, it just came in. So I'm thinking they're gonna be putting more of those in the line and I couldn't be happier. 
because that is a just gorgeous ring. I know, Alana, I said wow too when I saw it. It's really fun to unpack some of this stuff and you see it and it's like, whoa. I'll put this one on the side now. And I also have another one and done ring. And this is number 100. Yeah, that's the only one I have left. This, if you like that gunmetal and you like bling, and it's got that urban feel to it. Of course, you've got the bigger stretchy back on it. This one, like I said, is number 100 and only one. Look at that, really pretty. Kind of has that tough city kind of grunge edge to it, but it's really pretty. So let me see if I have any takers on 100. And I don't see anything, so I'll put that to the side right now. All right. Let's get on to some bigger pieces, lady, because this here, I have one for everybody if you want it. Okay, this here is number 113, Pew! white moonstone. Let me put the lens on so you can see all the bling. Look at that. That light reflection and there. Really, really pretty. Now you might remember that I showed one maybe the last time or two times ago and it had like that purple stone in there. So they tend to make this ring with a lot of different stones, but they don't all come out at the same time. So if you're a fan of this one, it is number 113. I have a decent quantity of these and let me know if you want one. Put that on the side. Okay. 101. All right, this one here is going to be another winner. I think so anyway. Ready? 113. All right, let me get that 113 order here for Kristen. And while I'm opening up my little key ring here, you know, it's so hard to, like, how do you store a lot of this stuff, you know? So you have to get very creative in your thought process. Like, well, yeah, I'll put it on a key ring. Yeah. And I'll just have it there and they'll all be in one place and they'll all be safe and I can pull it off. I'll know my quantities. So we're going to get Kristen on here who wants one. Kristen Cohn and Eileen. Okay. Nobody's claiming this one other than Kristen and Eileen. Okay. Just going to do not even a last call. It's here if you want it. You know, there's no last call here. It's not like it's a bar or anything, you know. But, and you can come back to me later on the other, um, you know, if you do a replay or other part of the presentation and let me know. So I'll put that one on the side with this. And on this one here, I didn't seem to have any takers on number one, 100. So that's 100, so I'll put that on the side. And then I'm showing you this one is a big winner. Look at that. All of you Simply Santa Fe ladies, look at this red crackle stone. And then you have all that like flowery pattern around some hammered gold in here, or gold, hammered silver tone. And of course, a bigger back because, now this one here is 101, because you have to be able to balance it. So look at that. If there's any takers on that, this is a keeper. That is really gorgeous. And I have a decent quantity of these. I have six all together. So if anybody wants number 101, Eileen wants 101, okay. Yeah, and the thing is, you have to screw this key ring. 
so it can't come over open and it can't drop all over and we have one for Lisa okay Lisa and Eileen and that way it all stays together and it all stays perfectly um, there's no dropping them or anything like that because you just can't drop them if they're on a key ring right So on number 101, I have four left, if anybody wants one. Otherwise, I'm gonna move on. And you know what? I mean, we all have our ring boxes, which thankfully, and I ordered like I think six more of them. So I have three here, and um, get on here. Yeah, and I have, um, I have enough for everybody. So hold on here, I just wanna get my keychain together. And if anybody needs one or two, you know, I have them here and well, I have two here if anybody needs it right away and then I have six coming because I bought 12 like two months ago and they're gone. Well, I try to be because I have a lot of jewelry here and if I wasn't organized, I wouldn't, you know, it's not just, um, it's not just staying organized. It's that I have a lot of people now ordering from all over. So I want to know what the quantities are that I have. And if I didn't have some kind of system here in place, that would be driven absolutely crazy. Um, so that's why I like it. Now I have another one here, a couple here that are going to be, ooh, this is pretty too. Let me get over here. All right. I have a decent amount of these. It is in a shiny penny copper. It has about, I'm going to say, maybe a quarter carat uh, stone in it. So it's really, really pretty. And I'm gonna put the uh, lens on here so you can see the detail. Look at that. Shiny penny copper. Now, like I always say, if you don't have something in this metal and you need it, get it now while I have that metal in. Because I might not get it again. Shiny penny copper is popular, but it's not the one that maybe they make a lot of rings in. I haven't seen a whole lot in shiny penny copper. So if anybody wants that, the number is 106. 106. It's bright in here. I know. And the thing that's good about the shiny penny copper, it's not going to um, tarnish because it just doesn't. So, I mean, it's really when you're, you know, you've got the shiny penny copper necklace and that, and you want to finish it off with a ring, maybe a matching bracelet. If you don't have them, this would be the time to get it because, okay, 106 for Kristen, because you just need to, um, just need to do that. This here. Get this thing open sooner or later. Okay. And Kristen wanted this one. It does go very well with rose gold. That's a great observation. You see, you can kind of mix them. You get used to their colorings after a while. So yeah, um, I'm just amazed at what is coming out in paparazzi. I'm amazed that I've kind of, I've kind of learned the technique now of how to get in and get there what I want, but I won't tell anybody else because it's my little secret. And um, you know, it's, it's all really good. I feel like, uh, yeah. I was telling my daughter today in the car, because Wednesdays are the day that we'd get a lot of our errands done, she has off. And I said, I feel like I'm a stockbroker at two o'clock where you're getting in. I almost have like heart palpitations before the bell rings. You know, it's like, okay, we're in. Now what am I gonna do? So yeah, it's it's really crazy, but um, when you get it, I'm in the car going, oh my God, oh my God, I got it, I got it. And it's crazy. And of course, I have the grandson in the back seat going, paparazzi, paparazzi. Yeah, okay, here's a couple of rings now that are just going to be, um, this is going to be a one and done. So this here is 111. This is really pretty. That is 111. See all that silver and the, like the um, 
stamping on here and then it kind of alternates I kind of like that and really it's there's no real set pattern 111 is belongs to you lady it's going to you and I'll just get this out of the little thing here with the little tag so that we can just put it right back in its little bag yeah it's uh it's a lot of fun trying to do it and you do get addicted and you get addicted to it you know when you get something that you know you know it's gonna sell you just have that feeling you just know it's crazy and when you see what I have coming down the pike you guys are gonna scream you're gonna be like oh she did it she got us the stuff <laughs> I'm in it, kids. I'm getting the good stuff. You know, I one, one time I watched one consultant and she said, when you get into paparazzi, all you do is think about paparazzi. And you know, it, I'm going, yeah, right. It's true. Because if you're not organizing it, unpacking a bag, it depends on how you do this. Like when I get it, I inventory it you know I get it ready to be shown and then when you guys see what I'm showing you then it's like okay well now we're done so I need to like redo my inventory I'm the jewelry pusher man yeah and you know and then I mean I have to invoice it and I gotta pack it up and all that so um, I love it but you know it's it's not a fly-by-night operation but still, it's so exciting to be part of that. Now I have two of these left. I actually found them in another area that I had. So um, this is what I'm telling you. The stuff is coming in, it's like really crazy. But this is what I had on the other night. And I know a couple people contacted me and said, do I have any more? And I did not think I had any more. And then I found these up. I actually had remembered them twice. So this one here is that turquoise. The number on this is 95. And uh, she's a piece. I mean, she's big, she's bold, and gorgeous. And I have two of these left, and that's it for sure. And I can't get any more. They're not in new releases. Um, you know, there's just some things you go, oh, yeah, I did have that over there. So now I'm kind of looking at my stock again and making sure there are no duplicates anywhere. Um, maybe it came in at one time and I put it down, then something else came in. Uh, the way I do it now, I would be probably 95 for Irene, okay? So I have one left after that, and then there she's gone. But boy, can they dress up an outfit. And again, I was never a turquoise lady, but I did put it on the other night, as you saw, and I added the ring, and I have one left if there's any takers. This is it for this design. It, I can't say it's not coming back. I don't know. I don't know. We, as consultants, we never know what's coming back, what's right around the pike. So something to think about if you um, like that design. Put that there. And we're almost at the end of our little ring show here. So um, this is really pretty. Okay, I have two of these. It's got like a hot pink stone on it. When you're wearing something like hot pink or, you know, it's kind of a red color, but more, I'm gonna say more pink tone. It's a great ring for that pop of color. And this is number 24R. And that's how it looks on the hand. Now the right kind of hot pink nail polish with this, some gorgeous hands would be, uh, you know, prime. But um, hey Tana, welcome back. We're in the middle of doing our rings right now. So if you like the rings we have that are um, on the stretchy back, but trust me, you're, you, you won't care they're on a stretchy back after a while. You're just gonna love them. So we have 24, okay. And you get one of these. Let me grab that out of here. I have one more left if anybody wants number 24. It's got that pop of color that they don't make a lot of, but when they make it, it's really good. And you can never have too many of these rings. Honestly, I just said that to my daughter today. I said, you know, those ring boxes are a godsend. I said, I don't know what I would do with all my rings if I didn't have them. So 
last call on 24, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna put this one away too. And I've just got two more rings and then we'll move on. This one here is number 60 and I only have one of these. And Flower Girls, if you like this one, it's pretty, it's in a great color. I like that little piece of bling in there. And I like the blackened area around here. And it's on a uh, more petite band, the smaller one, um, which a lot of times will fit the people that have petite hands better than the larger ones. But there it is. Whimsical, fun, pretty, great color. Yeah. So if you like this one, it's number 60. <laughs> Class ring. <laughs> You guys are funny. So anyway, um, that was number 60, and I don't see any takers on that one, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. And I think, I think Shelly has this one already. I have two of these. So it is number 107. It is a flower with the red center to it. Very cute. Again, number 60 goes to Mary Thomas. And Mary Thomas, you know what? This is gonna match those earrings you just bought too. Yeah, so let me come back to that one and get Mary um, all written up here. So I'm here, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I have to go to the doctor, so I go and get blood today because it's my time anyway. And then I get this notice, it's an eye doctor appointment. I have to call and I said, I thought it was a regular appointment. I'm like, no, you have to go to the eye doctor. I'm like, really? So all that work for nothing. I was all like, oh, the cholesterol level, all that fun stuff that we get to do as we get older. And I thought I had a couple more weeks to work on it. I shouldn't have gone in. But um, yeah, well, it is what it is, right? That's so, Mary. so anyway, tomorrow I get to get my eyes checked. And because of the COVID, I can't bring anybody with me. I could bring one other person, but I also babysit during the day, so I can't bring the kids there. So my husband, who happens to have off, is going to watch the kids. So I'm literally gonna be like Mrs. Magoo driving the car because it's gonna be like, oh, I can't see anything. Or I'll have to wait there and have lunch or something at the hospital. Yeah, so let's see here, Mary, and she gets 60. It's gonna be interesting, but you have to have your eyes checked. And I particularly like that puff of air when they throw that in your eyes, right? All right, so we're back to the flowers. A 107 here. 107. Oh, yeah, well, good. There we go. Right there. That's Eileen. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay, yep, that's Eileen. And then that means I will have, after the one I give to Eileen, I will have one left. And it's really pretty too that you it's like i said it's very whimsical so you can wear it and it's probably going to be one of those rings that people will grab your hand because it's pretty it's flowery mrs mago no i'm serious and you know because they dilate your eyes and it's like oh i know the last time they did then i have really light eyes you know so i'm out there like oh i can't have the sun oh. vampire woman so yeah, anybody else on this one? Otherwise, I'm gonna put this little girl away and we're gonna move on to some more lime and spearmint. Mm. Let me tell you, it is so refreshing. I don't know when you were young, like my mom always had gum in her pocket or it'd be dentine gum or Wrigley, you know, spearmint. Hey, Lisa. And I'd be like, oh, mom, can I have some of your gum? And then the spearmint would be like, Psh! in your mouth like oh my god all right so i'm gonna put this little girl back on this is number 13 i have two of these left if anybody likes that otherwise i'm moving on okay all right and lisa you are right i do i did lisa gets this one it's going to be in your bag she paid for it and somehow i didn't get it in there so lisa do not order this one because you already have it but this is the color on this is magnificent, 748. It comes with the little pair of earrings that match it. And then this color. It is a wow color. And 
I have a decent quantity of these. I'm going to say there's probably about six in my bag. A pop of color for any time of the year, particularly in the summer when you want to just, you know, it's summer, you're blooming, everything looks great. 748. That is scary to drive with. So, I, I mean, I'm kind of being funny about it, but I do, I used to work at the hospital. I was like the assistant to like the infectious disease doctor there and, you know, so I, I'm very familiar with it. And, um, you know, I know I'm probably going to have to, okay, 748 for Kristen. I'm probably going to have to wait till the eyes, you know, undialing me. Maybe go to the cafeteria or something and have a donut or something, you know, something good. <laughs> oh, I brought some donuts home today. I shouldn't have. It's like, I didn't, I, I sabotage myself. I don't know why I'm doing this. And that was Kristen Cohn. Just want to make sure here. Yeah. The color, like I said, in this one is absolutely stunning and magnificent. And so if I have any other takers on this one, 748. Alana, you did buy this one. Yep. It is so blurry. Yeah, just stay there for a while, you know what I mean? So if I don't have any other takers on this one, I'm going to move on. Yeah, you know, there's, um, everybody's being stretched right now because of the school situation and whatever your view is on it, I'm not challenging. I mean, it's a hard decision for anybody who has children now. I don't know, I didn't live it. None of us lived it. We, you know, we grew up in a different time and all of it is hard and there's gonna be a lot of major shift going on here. Either people are gonna be taking their kids to school or they're gonna be homeschooling them. And it's just one of those situations where it's like, oh. And you know, because the, I think the day of like the career woman is gonna kind of go to the wayside for a little bit until we figure out this, what are we gonna do with the kids kind of thing. All right, this here is a really delicate, pretty necklace. Some of you may have this one already but I only have like three left. So I thought I would bring it out again. It's number 315. It's on a gold chain. Of course, it's got those drop post earrings and they have the bling stone of being like a faux diamond. And then of course you come into all of this. Now there is a two inch extender, so this will fit everybody. There's that lobster claw clasp. And of course this will look better on the bust. So let me put that on there for you. It's delicate, it's dainty, it's feminine, it's everything being a woman is all about. And it's got alternating bling on here and maybe it will show up better if I do this. Let me get you up close and personal. That one has bling, that one won't, and then it alternates through. I also like it because the circles are set asymmetrical. I talk about that all the time, but I just find that really flattering that when it goes on your neck, it'll be like in, in, and up. So that's a real pretty one. Number 315. Yep, I know I know. a lot of you probably do have this one, but I just had to share it again because it is really pretty and it's very delicate. So if I don't have any takers on that one, I will move on. As my audience is growing, it's getting harder to remember who has what. So I figure, you know what, um, I am gonna bring it out and for those of you who have it, you know how good it is. And for those of you who'll be joining me later, you get to t you get your chance at getting one. So everybody wins. And on this one here, I have two left. And this is the matching bracelet. Now it looks really small on here, but there is a chain that's about an inch and a half. This is number 316, and it does the same thing. So it'll be like a tennis bracelet. For me, I probably would put it on and go to the mid of the extension with a seven and a half inch wrist. So that would tell you, but now this is a good one for someone with a really petite wrist too. And a lot of people ask me, well, do you have stuff for petites? I can't say right offhand that we have stuff for petites, but you know, some of the bracelets can be adjusted to fit accordingly. So let me just make sure that no one has that one. Okay. I have a couple of these for sale now. Cool necklace. Very whimsical again. 
in that black metal. Black metal seems to come up a lot. 63, it's on a chain, and then you'll have all of these gears on it. They're gonna be different sizes, so you'll have the black ones. Then you'll go into the gold ones, and then you'll go into the bigger black ones. It's striking on, and of course, you're gonna get these earrings here to go with it. How can this only be $5? I am amazed every single time I look at this jewelry. I just don't know how, but look what you're getting for five. So this is number 63. If anybody wants to try that look, maybe it's not your full style, but this would take you out of your comfort zone. And um, it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's just really pretty and um, sparkly. And again, it's just got that edge to it. So if, if you like this, fine. If you think this would be a great gift for somebody, that's another one. And I have about four of these. I have a matching bracelet for that. And if you like bangles, then you're gonna like this bracelet. This is number 590. Petite, what's that? I know, I've never been, con never. I'm thick. I have thick calves. I've always had thick calves. You, everybody would grow up and they'd be wearing all these kind of boots and I couldn't get my boots zipped because my calves, I like those mountain climbing legs. But you know, bone density is really good. 590. All right, now wait till you see these. You get four bangles. And then one of them has bling on it, but it's so subdued. All right, this is like a hammered one. Here's the one with the bling on it. Very subdued. You can wear them in any order that you want. But here, they are, that's another, like two that are almost the same. So you can put them on the side. It matches that necklace. And this is number 590. I have about four sets of these. And if you like this, you can also do two sets and really have a swing and arm party there. But I love it because they're black. They don't make them in black a lot. So this would be the time if you like that look. And again, if your wrist is bigger, I tell you do the bird move this on each one and get them over and you'll get them and then they'll, they'll hang because that's what happens for me. That's how I have to get them on, but they're worth it. Totally worth it when you get them on. This line of jewelry is so fantastic. They do everything in it. So you will always have variety. Put that one there. So the necklace here would match, the bracelet would match, and these earrings would match. And I have about four of these. So let me show you these, because these are screaming cool. Very cool. And they're a post earring. So let me get these ready for you. And they're a hoop. So here we back to the thousand pair of hoops in a woman's jewelry box, right? 87. Black. Now, you have to see these up close because they're thin, but they have this um, cutting into them. So that is really going to catch the light. Yes, they're a little bit bigger. However, they are so light that you don't even feel like you have them on. These will match the bracelet and the necklace. So you could have those three pieces for $15, $15. So if anybody likes these, number 87, um, I would tell you that this is a fantastic deal. If you don't already have them, uh, you, you just won't find anything like this out in the market that I can tell you for sure. Here is a necklace. I have two of these. Fun Frilly, it is number four backwards. Oh, Debbie wants number 87, okay. And I'm gonna tell you, your daughter's gonna steal these from you because they're all, look, look on every like Venus catalog or any like keeping up with the Kardashians kind of thing. They're all wearing this size of earring. So just, just want to let you know that, Mom, that your daughter's going to steal them from you. So let me put your name on them, Deb.
but they rock. They're gorgeous and they're light. And I know with you, Debbie, you're very sensitive ears and I'm telling you, those won't bother your ears at all. Lead and nickel free. And that size is perfect because you get the look, but you don't get the hang of it. So that's a good thing too. So back to, um, let me put this one away. Number four is, yeah, they do. As a matter of fact, they were part of the, the um, fashion fixes, I think last month maybe, or the month before. Um, and I buy, I buy different pieces and I'll buy the, the, them together and then I will buy extra earrings or bracelets because there's a lot of people, like say our, our own little Kristen Cohn, she does not have pierced ears. So she would not ever want to get a set, a complete set of things. So for people like her, I will buy extra earrings or extra bracelets or extra necklaces. Now, as time goes on, like Debbie bought a pair of, of earrings today. Well, now that whole, like one of those won't have earrings, which is fine. Someone will buy it because the necklaces come with earrings. So that's kind of my logic in there that, listen, the jewelry always sells. I can't, ex somewhere along the line, what you think is not gonna sell, it sells itself. So I know this stuff will go. And I just kind of put it out there that um, they do match now and I have the sets, but. Eventually, someone just buys the earrings because they like the earrings, so that's how it goes. So this is number four, and it has these earrings, and it has this necklace. Gorgeous color. And Mary, if you bought those earrings in the ring, well, this is the necklace that would match that. So if you like it, it does have that two-inch extender on the back. There is the lobster claw, and if, by any chance you would need any extra room around your neck because I know I don't like things high in my neck either, but this is not high. You could put an extender on here, but I love, it is very light, it is very pretty, it's springy, uh, the color is, everybody looks good in this color. So this necklace, I have two of these. It is number four. Now I have a couple turquoise pieces, and some of you already have these earrings, but for those of you who don't, and for those of you viewing later, let me just put this one back, it fell off the card. I have these little cardboard in inserts in these plastic bags because I like them to stand upright so I can grab almost like a filing system. My whole life, nothing but filing, right? I'm still doing it. But um, yeah, I have these earrings. I love these earrings. As a matter of fact, I have these earrings coming in black. I love these earrings. These are number 125. Now, these aren't the lightest earrings, but they're not the heaviest either. And they are drop. You do not need to wear any other jewelry when you wear these. These make a statement. I can't tell you how many times I was stopped for these earrings. Like, where did you get that? I was at the car dealership with my daughter a couple weeks ago and this lady walked by and said, oh, I love your skirt. I love your earrings. I was like, oh yeah, well, thank you. You know, and I don't want to get like, why well, I sell this stuff, you know? So I didn't jump on it or anything, but um, it is right there. The crackle stone is in there and they're really pretty. And if you like these, these are number 125. Don't mind me just staring at the screen. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. And you can always private message me because I that happens a lot, like I say. And you'll see part, some of you might already have some of these pieces. But again, this is for those who maybe didn't buy the set and just wanted the necklace. So, And I still have more too, so don't think that this is all nothing but repeats because it's not, I have a lot. All right, this here is number, I gotta get my little number thing. I have two of these left. 282 you're gonna have that crackle stone earring looks like it looks like turquoise I'm not kidding right there when I say it really does and these are natural stones they are treated to look like turquoise and so this is a little bit longer it has a two inch extender and then you have the matching beads and a tassel so this is a longer one but what I just said today, you know, those longer necklaces are very flattering, very thinning. And I think, Mary, I think you might have this one too, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe you don't. But 
if you do throw up a heart because that can tell everybody that either you like it and it is longer and it's a focal point and that's okay let me get up here so you get the you get the picture that this is a very long bust and it comes down to here and that's that so what you'd have here and then you have those earrings I just showed you and let me just see if this works because I'm bleaching out right now so if I touch the screen touch my nose no it's not working there I'll try it oh yeah it is working Alana you're a genius okay so 125 these are my favorite well I have you guys I'm, I'm tired of saying they're my favorite everything is my favorite Here, Eileen wants 125. Well, I'm glad that Elaine has it too, and I should have remembered that. Uh, but like I said, you know, my mind is preoccupied, um, well, with COVID and whatnot, but it is a gorgeous piece. So, and if you really don't want to do the longer necklace thing, you can always bring it up like the Great Gatsby, and then you'd have that chain there with the little, you know, card on here. And you could put it in the last one so you wouldn't have that hanging, unless you wanted it hanging. And there you would have it. So this is 282. But you know, the thing is when this stuff goes, yeah, it's when you have a turquoise piece in this line, you can match it with any other turquoise piece that we have because the stones are all made the same. So that's what the beauty comes because if you are a person that I, I like the Simply Santa Fe, then you buy these up and then you can mix, mix and match all different ones. So, let's see. Yeah, yep. It is a fun necklace. So if, I have two of these left. If anybody compliments you on your necklace, you can send them my way and I'll see if I have another one left for them. Otherwise, we're gonna move on. After this, I promise there's no more turquoise. So I had to put these bracelets out here. I have two of these left. There's that crackle stone. There's the silver. It's stretchy. It's gorgeous on. And those of you who bought that um, turquoise ring, the one that is, takes up your whole finger, that's what I'm saying. This with that ring, with the necklace, with the earrings, without the necklace, with the earrings, you mix and match. Maybe it's just a day you want to wear small little ones because, again, we're working in places where we have to wear a mask constantly or go out. Um, I can tell you, though, I had, um, and the number on these is 250. Let me just get that out of here. Um, the first day I wore a mask out, I was like, I can't do this. And then I think it was you, Elaine, saying it will get easier. And it, it did, it did get easier. I, I took it out today and I was wearing, I was dutifully wearing my mask and it is getting easier. So, you know, I mean, I, it, like they always say, do you wanna have a mask on or you wanna have a ventilator? You know, I'm okay, I'll wear the mask. So if anybody likes this one, number 250, let me just make sure that I'm not missing anybody. Okay, 254, Eileen. I'm gonna get one that's all packaged up here. One left if there's anybody else 250 for Shelly all right and I'll put this back in its little container here its own little bag for Shelly and this is weighty when you put this on you're gonna feel as if you have it's cool to the touch it feels like you have turquoise it looks like you have turquoise and you paid five dollars so who's the smarter for it right gonna make our, our dollars last longer and we still want to look like babes right that never ends. In fact, I I actually had to, I'm gonna turn 65 in October. So three months before your 65th birthday, you have to contact Medicare. So I got on the phone with this guy and I'm like, I can't even believe like, that's what my mom and my grandma did. I can't believe I'm signing up. And the guy's like, yeah, you know, I'm 60 and I'm gonna be signing up pretty soon. And I'm like, I know, but this is weird to me. And he's like, yeah, you know, I was like, oh, goes too fast doesn't it but um 
it all got worked out. You know, now I'm going to be on the list now for the Medicare. So it's like, oh, crazy. But, you know, I was telling him that, that okay, my grandma at 65, well, my grandma was a babe too, she, but other grandmas, they would be knitting and have the rheumatoid arthritis in their hands. They couldn't move. They had all kinds. I told this guy, I said, you know, like, I'm just ready to jump out of the airplanes and, you know, just do whatever. And, run, and I can't run anymore. I mean, I just can't, but I can walk. And he goes, oh, I just ran a marathon the other day. And I, as a matter of fact, I just jumped out of an airplane. I'm like, well, that's what I'm talking about. People do not. Well, you know, I look incredible for 65. If I took this off, I have white hair. So, you know, it's like, thank you. But, you know, that's where the smoke and mirrors come in because, yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is. You are what you are, right? But, um, yeah, I'm just like, people, we're not aging like we used to age. We just, maybe they were more accepting of it. Maybe they were tired of life. But I don't know. At this time, I'm not tired of it yet, even with a pandemic. So, all right, back to jewelry, right? Or I'll be on that. Babes, yeah, and I'm, that's what I'm, my whole point of this was. We still want to rock it. We still want to be, you know, where we're out there and, and doing our thing, even if we can't be out there. We just want to look good. It's part of being a feminine person, right? All right, here, this is really pretty. If you bought that red ring, I think it was Eileen. This is a great necklace that will go with it. It is got these like kind of pink that same color pink but these are the crystal clear and then it comes into all of these little charms on here and then you have like the translucent beads and then you have the ones that match that stone that's in the ring so if this is something that you like I have two available so it's gonna hang longer again it's really whimsical got a little butterfly in there and you get the hearts there's a puffed heart in there and there's a seashell so it's it's fun and it would be again you're gonna wear it it's gonna make you longer it's gonna make you slimmer um, more youthful I, I you know I, I'm not into like doing something because I want to look like I'm 18 I know I've been there done that already I don't want to do it again but I don't think there's anything wrong with fun and whimsical and you know you can be kind of like that kind of free-spirited person all the way through life, right? Right? Because that's who we are. That's how we, it was our generation. That's who we were. So if anybody likes 162, um, yeah, I have two of them. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing wrong with trying to be the best version of you, whatever that version is. You know, like they say, every journey is started with a first step. And no, we do not have the bodies we had when we were in our 20s. I could only wish, right? Like what I had back then, I didn't even realize I had it until it was gone. What's it? You, do, you don't know what you have until it's gone. That song, you pay paradise and put up a parking lot. Well, yeah, it's like that. You feel like, yeah, you know, but, but again, you can be the best version of you in your skin where you're at and but the thing about getting older is you do get wiser and now I don't care I don't care if you know I wear a wig I do I love them I don't care I'm not here to please anybody but me my husband my family you know and after that if you got a problem with it just keep it to yourself because I don't really care and that you know no one's ever going to be that rude to walk up to but you know but when i start doing that thing with the old lady, with the old ladies like the lip liners up here and the eyebrows are up and over here i need someone to pull me to the side okay number 305 and here is the matching bracelet again very whimsical all full of that fun and luscious bead there even if you don't get the necklace there look at that color pearl right there so i have this is number 305 and i have two of these so if that's something that you like, and again, this looks like it's huge, but it has the extender, and then this goes way in. So like if you have a petite wrist, like I know a lot of that, you, a lot of you do, this would fit you, and it would fit you really good. And if you had a larger wrist, it would fit you too because of that extender. So don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to, to wear what you feel because you need to wear what you feel. And we talk about this all the time pandemics here you know like we're all going oh give me that bag of kettle corn you know I mean we're all doing it because the color came out and we don't have nothing left to do but eat but 
we can't go there. So we just have to keep ourselves going in 305. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is going to be really cool. And you know, Mary, you have that kind of whimsical personality. I don't know you personally, but I feel like I've known you for years. You just have that, that, um, it's just that, I don't know what the right word is. It's just that it's a free spirited, um, you know, whimsical. I keep using that one, but you're just, you're so free with your stuff. And you know, we all have our issues, but, but girl, you look good. You do look good. You're a very pretty lady and very nice that one out and get Mary here. There's a lot of things that happen along the journey in life, right guys? So we just got to keep our, um, just got to keep our spirits up. Very spirited. That's what I need. You're a very spirited lady and, and it shows, you know? So let's see here. 162. All right. Let's that one. And especially, you live in California, so I mean, it's perfect for you. Because you have good weather all year long, right? Put that one away. I've never been to California. I know that sounds weird, but I have never been there. Um, but I would like to get there someday, but I guess not right now, right? I just told my husband today, I said, we're not going to be able to take any trips anywhere like the next two, three years. This is not gonna happen. And I guess I'm okay with that. Well, Mary, if you got that, then you need these. I almost kept these because these are fun and they're youthful, but not making you look like you're 18. These, I have two pair of these. Let me show you these. You would need that necklace on or that bracelet, but, and you know what? I think I might have one of the rings too here, or maybe I don't, I have to see. Um, this is number 313. I love these earrings. I love them. Okay, look at the color. You need that lipstick color across the board. Bam, right there. Look how gorgeous, drop hoop earrings again. But not only drop hoops, they got that little charm in there. I know, I know. I shouldn't talk about food. My husband was eating quesadillas when I came down here. I'm like, I'm not eating any quesadillas. I get. Okay, 313. I have two of these left, so let me get one for Eileen. Um, you know, at some point you have to say, I can't. And you can be inspired by other people that you talk to, you know, that might be battling the same things you are. Because, um, you know, it's, it's hard. It really is hard. But you get inspiration from the weirdest places, you know, that all of a sudden it's like, well, she's right. You know, I, I shouldn't be doing that either. And, um, it's kind of nice. So, Mary, you got the other one at 313, and that one, they can call it a day on that one. Let me write you up on that one, dear. Um, put that whole set together with that. It's going to look really good. Very good and fun. And then put a flower in your hair, too, because that's kind of the fun part of this. And then, of course, you know, there are people in, like, the Hollywood scene that... Um, you know, that we see these actresses that are older, and I'm not saying the ones, I don't have anything wrong with plastic surgery. You can do whatever you want to your own body. Just don't end up looking like Tony Curtis where you look like a caricature of, a caricature of yourself. You know, sometimes you can take it too far, but you know what, sometimes I would say like, you know, having, um, let me just get over here. Um, a little work, let's say you need, you're like, like you have hooded eyes, like I'm getting more hooded eyes. Well. If they start to interfere with my vision, yeah, then it's time to do something about it. Um, but, again, the 90 Day Fiance, they right away, they have smothered right after it. So, of course, I got to watch that one. And there's the lady in there, and she was having her eyes done and her boobs done, and her daughter was getting a tummy tuck. And it's like, you're so gorgeous now. You don't even need to do that. What are you doing? But, you know, people do. And I guess you can do whatever you want. It's your body. Here's some fun thing. I have one of these left. It's got that mechanical feel to it, but I love it because it's in this color of like the cognac. Okay, 181. And then look at that. It's got like the brass and then this like snake chain. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really thin. Look at that. 
and then you come into all of these gadgets again at the bottom but look at the gadgets i love this piece i actually kept one of these i love that cognac in there i love the champagne on the rondelles there on the on the gadgets how can this be five dollars seriously seriously look at this on the bust it's just like come on. this is crazy this is gorgeous and there's still a two-inch extender here. So this would be a great piece. Well, I would wear this all year long, and I do, I have one. But if you were just like, you could wear it in the fall because of those colors. But I love cognac. I think cognac is so rich. And then, of course, like I said, cognac with the champagne colored stones. Yeah. Well, and then like back to Tony Curtis, I mean, yeah, I know, I know. And I only have one and they, they didn't make any more. This was it, they blew out, I got them. I've had them for a while, and then I'd bring them out and I'd sell another one. And again, it's taken you out of your comfort zone of what you normally would wear, 181 for Mary. But when you get it, you will not be sorry. And when you put it on, and then you put up the lipstick that's got kind of like that coppery or you know more gold in it than your, you know, whatever your normal color is, and kind of work around that, and yeah. All of it's really good. It's sort of like after you start wearing faux hair, you start to realize how you have to sort of match the makeup to go with the hair and the hair color, like I did the other night when I had the darker hair on. And you realize the makeup that you use as a blonde truly probably isn't gonna work with that, you know? And when you're in your heart that you know what you are, you know, because it's like, it's hard to, to grow away from what you all look in the mirror for your whole life and then say, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something different. And it turns out that you have a lot of fun with it, you know, but you kind of have to change the makeup up a little bit. And I think that goes with jewelry too. Like if you're going to go into another look, let me get this ready for Mary, um, then maybe switch up the makeup a little bit if it's not exactly what you think it is. You know, you put it on, you go, I don't know, um, get a more fall color here. Put a little bit more of a fall color on your face for blush. Maybe use more of the warmer tones, browns in the eyes. So, you know, it all matters. It really does. And in fact, Alana and I were talking today about makeup and how she loves it and how she likes to watch videos. And you can learn so much from other people. Like maybe if you have hooded eyes, how do I put, how do I put false eyelashes on and my hooded eyes? It's crazy. All right, for those of you who like a pop of color, Oh, well, see that I learned that too. Yep. Those are the kind of things we can share, you know, because you have the palette you're kind of born with and you always think, well, I have to put this on and put that on. Uh, but you don't have to stay in the whole peg zone that you were in. Like, did you ever notice, um, no matter when a woman graduated from high school, a lot of times she keeps the same hairstyle. She's 70 years old and she's still wearing the same hairstyle that she wore when she was 18. Um, it's a shame because you wasted your whole life looking the same. You don't have to. And there's nothing wrong. If you're comfortable with it, then you have to do it. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying don't miss out on life, right? I mean, we, we life is too short to begin with. You know, I'm going to be on Medicare pretty soon. So anyway, yellow. Here we go. Yellow. And I'm going to show you my little thing. I only have one of these. This is really cool. I'll show it to you and then I'll put it on the bus. I love the hammered silver on this. Again, with this line, I decided that I was going to bring in more colors. Basically, because there was a lot of suggestions coming in for more colors. Then when they came in, I realized, wow, she was right. This was taking Linda out of her comfort zone. So look at that. It's like, it's almost like the Japanese moon rising here. And then you've got all of this hammered silver here. It's very light. It comes with the yellow earrings. I don't know, do I even have a yellow ring? I think I have some yellow rings coming. But so now that you see this one, you go, maybe I should get some yellow rings. Maybe I should get some different yellow earrings that might go with this. So you can just build on all this stuff. Yeah, I, I, like I said, we're so lucky because the channel that we have, that I have right here, and the people that I have visiting on here are the experts at full hair. I mean, you know, if you really feel like, does she wear them? She wears them. Does she review them? Does she sell them? You know, I mean, 
if you're looking to just just do something different, you've got the people right here in this spot today that know their stuff about this. And then if you're wondering, well, you know, I'm going to switch it up. You know, my husband would like me to be a brunette tonight. Well, then you go and talk to Chrissy about what do I do about makeup. So, yeah. Fair, remember Farrah hair? Oh, my God. In the 70s, we all wanted fairer hair. Everybody. That woman had the most beautiful hair in the world. She was so blessed. Always. She just... She was... Well, she was blessed, but, you know, we all know what happened with that one, and it was so sad. I mean, I actually cried. It was almost like an icon of our generation was... And she dies the same day as Michael Jackson. What the heck? It was like, whoa. So, okay, cool. Somebody just sent me a message. Um, yeah, we, you know, we all want, you know, like, and the thing is, my hair was always thin. And I'd go into the beauty salon and back then I'd go, I want you to cut it like Farrah Fawcett. And they'd be like, oh, you do? <laughs> well, they couldn't even ever get it there, but I was I was pleased with it. Of course, get the curling iron out and all that. The things we used to do to our natural hair. I'm well. I'm surprised. I well, I don't have. I mean, I my hair is really thin now. And you know what? <sighs> no wonder. No wonder you color it, you bleach, you swim in it, you permed it. You know, for how many? Ten years? Twenty? No. <sighs> how could it survive all that? So I'm pretty happy where I'm at. So anyway, any takers on 721, otherwise I'll put that one away. Yeah, you know what? We need to embrace life because you only get one shot at it. So you know what? Go for the gusto. Go for whatever you, th you feel is going to make you happy. Yeah, I'm telling you, YouTube is like a plethora of information. If you want to learn anything about anything, go to YouTube. All right, so I have a new pair of earrings that came in, and I got ones that were a little bit more elegant because I, well, I think these would look great with jeans, but I do think that for the $5 bill, you're getting these earrings. You can wear them to a fancy occasion. You can give them to a daughter, granddaughter, niece, for prom, fish hook wires, lead nickel free. Look at that. Now, in my day, I would have bought these. I absolutely, well, my day, I'm still on my day, but like when I had my going out times, I absolutely would have worn these. I mean, it, you know, I was like, ooh, those are really pretty, you know, and they're shiny. And of course, back then, you know, we went, we went to bars that had lights that would shine this stuff. We can't go anywhere right now and that's okay, but that doesn't mean we can't be prepared for the occasions when they do come up. So the good thing about this is for the price, when I see these, I get them because someday, you are going to say, I need a pair of dressy earrings. I need it for this. I need it for the holiday. And then you'll know you've tucked away in your drawer this pair of earrings that you can wear. So you have been a good little squirrel and you have picked out your jewels. And you know what? You're not worried about it because you're going to go get that little black dress out of your closet. Put those on. Maybe your long pearls that you bought at another time here. And bam, you're looking like a million bucks. And you're feeling like a million bucks. And when you feel good, everyone around you feels good. Your family feels good. Your extended family feels good. And you know what? That's what we need is the people to feel good right now. Because so many people are not feeling good. They're just not. So let me just make sure that I did not miss anybody here. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. All right. So I have another tennis bracelet, brand new. If you like tennis bracelets, this is the one for you. It's blingy-licious, totally. It's decadent, it's out there. I don't care, I love it. Number 18, I like it because it has these stations that are now turned inside out. There, let me put the lens on here, it'll be a lot easier. Look, it's bezel set. It's not gonna get caught on your clothes or on your hair. I liked that they linked it. You've got like little stations that are linked together because that makes it look richer. And then it goes all the way down. And let's see what this is. It is a lobster claw clasp. And it has a, about an inch and a half extender. This is at almost at the, the last part of the extender. So, I mean, that's a pretty good size bracelet. Yeah, I'm sure that would fit most everybody. So if you like this, Number 18, who wanted 17? Is there a 17 in here? 
Oh, I think you meant 18, right, Kristen? The other part about this is that you can get two of them and double them up. Now, I don't, you know, will people think you have a real diamond? Probably not. Yeah, no, they're not. But when you look at it, that's what I'm saying. I don't wear this for other people. I do it for me. I put them on and I go, ooh, ooh. I mean, I was doing that in the car with my daughter too. We're both got our own paparazzi and we're both looking at them in the sun, you know? It's like, they're gorgeous. So, you know, you put it on because you like it. And remember, when you like it and you project outward, you are going to get back what you're projecting. And I believe that 100%. Okay, and we've got Lori, Kristen Cohn. And I really do believe that. And somewhere along the line, you're going to have some crab crabbing at you about something. And you just kind of go, okay, yeah, whatever. And you just dilly-dally along your way because... You're just a kind person and you're not going to, they're happy. Some people are just happy being miserable and that you're not going to solve. But you know what? In my world, I don't want to feel down a lot at all if I don't have to. I know we are all going to feel down. There's, you know, it's the way the life works. But um, if I feel like, if I have any way to pull myself up out of that, I want to do that. Let me see here. Okay, so we got Kristen and Lori. Yeah, yeah, we all do. And you know what else? It's going to get worse before it gets better because this whole COVID thing is not, it might get worse before it gets better. And then we're going to see on top of crabby people, I think we're going to see a lot of sorrow. And I, I don't know, I, I don't do well in sorrow, but you know, the part about it is, is you can't give somebody a, a comforting hug because we, we can't. You can't. If something happened to somebody, your first in, incl inclination would be to give them a hug, but you really can't. You can't do it anymore. So the only way you make it through this whole thing is you adapt. And that's what we got to learn. We're going to have a new life in front of us, and we're going to have to adapt. You know, there's just no way around it. And the sooner that you get there and you, you do that, I think you're going to be a lot happier in life. I mean, we're all happy in life, but... Yeah, I, you just have to adapt. Now I got a brand new pair of earrings, guys, in brass. And guess what? They are hoops. And these are cool because they're not all blingy, but they are really pretty. And I actually had my own pair on of these. And I'm going to show you what I did here. I'll show you the earrings. 36. Okay. Hammered brass earrings not heavy in the least every woman needs to have another hoop earring in her wardrobe correct the good thing about when it goes in the hole it kind of flanges away from the face so it it's not going to go like that it kind of goes out so what you're seeing is kind of like this one right here so it's really cool now what i got to show you is i wore this skirt today and it's kind of in, like, when you have brass, like, copper is going to have, like, that pink tone to it. Brass is going to have kind of that green tone. So, look. It was the perfect pair of earrings to wear with my skirt and my top. See what I mean? It's great for that army. It's an army green, is what I'm trying to say. So, you can really dress these up in a muted way. So, that's number 36. If you don't have them, again, because... Women and hoops go together. You're going to have your gold hoops. You're going to have your drop hoops. You're going to have the copper. You're going to have the silver. You need to have a pair of brass. And because they're not too large, but they're large enough not to be small. So this is a really good one to get. So Christy wants a pair. Okay, let me get them out of here. And I think I got a decent lot of these because I just knew these were pretty neutral and this was going to go. Great. If you got to wear them to work, these, this is a perfect pair because you're going to look really pretty in them. You're going to look really pulled together, but you're not going to be like, why is she wearing her prom dress to work? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's just what it is. Her prom jewelry. No one really cares anymore. In fact, the guy from the Social Security office, well, he was working from his home in California, and he said it had been weeks since he put a pair of jeans on because he was sitting there in his shorts or his jogging pants. So I, it's the new mode. Everybody's doing it. So I've got these for you, Christy. They're yours. Do I have any other takers on these? 
brand new right out of the gate. I have two, three, four, five pair left. And I have Missy Angelus watching. Hello, dear. How are you, you lovely little girl? You, you're not a girl. You're a lady. You're a beautiful lady. Um, yeah. So I have this pair. And Missy, these will look fantastic on you. They're really light. They're brass. They're hammered. And I kind of like them because they're asymmetrical again, almost like you pounded them and they didn't turn out perfect, which is kind of what you want. But as I showed the other ladies, this brass color goes great with like that army green so you can have that glamorous grunge look or wear it with this kind of top because that's what I did today with my own pair of these of course I had to snag a pair right out of the bag right so if anybody else wants this let me know while I still have a good quantity and if you want to sleep on it you know to PM me later and I'll get them for you hey woohoo how have you been dear it's been a long time you know, I'd say, oh, you wish you guys could come on over here. And well, we had been, but you know what? What I looked at the TV, it seemed like we were on the quarantine. And then like the first of the June was here. And then we started opening restaurants, barbershops, nail salons, all of it. And then the curve went up and now it's spiked here in, in Wisconsin. So whatever we were doing wasn't right, you know? So um, yeah, it's just like everything else. Now I have this pair of clip-on earrings. I love these. If you ever get tired of wearing your pierced ears, these are gorgeous. I love this stone on here. I think this looks like princess so-and-so. Just that blue thing, the ballerina setting around it with the crystals. Um, I can't keep track of the earrings that Christy has. So I know you have a package here and you might have bought these already, or you, maybe you got them. I mean, not Christy, Kristen. But I'll tell you what, I, really like these clip-ons. I'm thinking for that more debutante look, if you wear pierced earrings and you just want to put those on um, quickly, to have more of a professional, polished, almost like a Jackie O type look. You know what I mean? It just kind of has that, like, hello, darling. Could I have one of those? Whatever they are. But you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just, they're sweet. Now, if you have shorter hair, which, you know, you, I could wear a shorter wig. I could definitely wear this. And you know, then what do you look? Well, you look very polished with this, just this stone alone. So, but then again, I was looking on Pinterest of different things that you can do with earrings. And we've all tried it now with our pins, with our necklaces and our earrings, clip on earrings with necklaces and on shoes and on purpose, on, on purpose, on um, purses. And then you can also put them in your hair. And so that's another thing that you could, oh yeah, that'd be great. So if you like to try this, I mean, for $5, I would say get a pair and get a couple different pairs. So when you're ready to do it, you've got a lot of variety and then you can kind of go, wow, because that's what I've been doing. I, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't collecting the clip earrings at all. And then I thought, well, I have to buy them for Chris, Kristen anyway. I don't have to do anything. I'm just doing it because I know that, you know, she doesn't get to enjoy earrings like we do. And so this is good for her. And then... All of a sudden, I've been having more and more people have been kind of hopping on the, oh, I don't have pierced ears. So it's like, oh, great. And then it was like, well, I'm keeping out a couple pair for myself because I want to do that with the jewelry. So that's number 37. If you feel like you want to try some other earrings that aren't <clears throat> pierced ears, you want to give it a go for that sweet, demure look that you can wear the Jackie O look. Time for water. The water with the spearmint and the lime in it. Here we go. Lime and spearmint. Like I put in four drops each to my iced water, big old jug. I refuse to pay those prices. You have to go to the health food store to get those flavored waters. And they're like a buck or two for an eight ounce thing. And no, I'm not doing that. But I'll tell you what, this is worth the investment. You can put this in your rice. You can add if you want flavoring and anything, it is essential oil. Essential oils are great for your insides. And when they have a toothpaste, I'm addicted to their toothpaste now because sometimes when you have toothpaste, it like leaves that kind of like crust feeling in your mouth. Well, this has essential oils in it. So it's like that and a mouthwash. You know, usually when I use mouthwash, it's like, I feel like the alcohol just burns the inside of my mouth out. Even if I get 
non-alcoholic one, but this other one, it has a really good, like, fresh feeling to it. So, you know, something to keep in mind that there are other avenues of things that we can use for our body that are so good for us. All right, I'm going to show this one again because I have two of these left, and this is a great summertime or springtime necklace because of the color. Now, when I first got this one, I had a large number of these and now they've whittled down to the one and two um so i'm just going to put them out there but it's this color bezel set fish hook wires the number's 341 but you get all of this again i just don't understand how they can do this but they do and you get the two inch extender so you can make this longer now I know, I think Eileen has one, and I, um, I know Alana bought one, and I think uh, Lisa bought one, maybe Lisa. If you, know, if you like that light color blue, and you even wanna save it for next year because you wanna wear it in the spring, it's a great investment for the $5 because you haven't spent a lot. But I mean, look at the quality of this jewelry. It's absolutely amazing. I have two of them left. If you want to think about it and give me a message later, but I only have two and they have not made this one and maybe they'll bring it back next year. I really don't know. But right now I only have two left. Bucket number one, done. Now we're on to bucket number two. Oh yeah, let's just knock the whole station over here. Like again, Lucy does jewelry, right? It's like, what the heck? All right. All right, here, this is a really cool necklace. I have a decent lot of these. This is in gold tone. It has these earrings here, very light. This is almost like a plastic bead. And let me just turn this around so you get the full look. And this is the necklace. Striking on everybody. It has the two inch extender. So if you needed to bring it down lower, perhaps you're gonna wear it over a shirt or under a turtleneck or a cowl neck. You'd be able to do that in the winter. You could wear it on a bare, well, not a bare chest, but you know, bare neck, bare neck up to your chest kind of thing. So 341, I wanna make sure. Okay, let it, did I get this one here? All right. Christy, okay, let me get you that one. You are gonna love this one. I'm not kidding, it's really, really pretty on. Whoops. It's always nice to kind of see the back rump area go up in the thing. Hello! All right. And again, you know, I always say this, but if you um, think about ahead, like a favorite friend or a best friend and things for Christmas or things you know they would like, get them now and you're done shopping. I mean, it, and it's not like, you know, like you're getting them some kind of cheap junk. You're getting them some really good jewelry here and it keeps getting better. It just does. I, I'm working with it all the time and I just absolutely cannot believe the quality. Now I wanna get this one here to look perfect on the bus for you. Remember, these are in plastic bags, and that um, you'd adjust it better on yourself when you have it on. Okay, 761. And I see Mary Thomas wants 341 too. So that is 761. I have a matching bracelet that I bought. I always try to buy up the match. This is a little, um, I'm not even because you have to fix it up, but I don't want to spend our time fixing up a necklace. So let me get this other one out for Mary. Yeah, and I'll get that one for her. And then I'll move on. Like I said, if you have a, you know, a nail tech now, I know things are starting to, you know, kind of shut down again, but maybe before you leave and go on hibernation again, if that should happen, 
you get a piece of this jewelry and you just say, you know, like maybe a nice tip if you can afford it and a piece of jewelry. And the next time you come in that shop, the waters will part. You'll get the first chair. They'll treat you like a queen. And you know, if they only knew what you spent on the jewelry, but it really isn't what you spent on the jewelry, right? It, it really is how, how good quality it is. You know, I mean, it just does, period. All right, so let me get this out for you to show you the, the bracelet, which I love because I love these tassels on it. I love, you know, when you have your nails done and everything looks really good for 16. Look at this bracelet. So this is going to hang on your arm, like kind of like that. You're going to have a lot of that going on. So with the, the necklace and the bracelet, you're looking at 761 and 416. It's $10. $10. For this now like I said again you're gonna put this on and you'll flip the little you know dangles around and make sure they're right and it's the same thing on your bracelet but you understand what I'm saying and you get the little earrings that go with this but you could swap out your 14k earrings if you have them or another design from paparazzi or maybe maybe another line if you had to but you know I do know paparazzi will match their metal so that's the beauty so if anybody let me just make sure I did not miss anybody um, I will start to put away the necklace here first that was 761 I have a decent lot of these this comes in another style too I have it in silver and I think I have it in copper um, I was really excited to see it in gold because sometimes when I see a good seller like the silver was a really good seller I have a few of those left and I also kept that too um, you know I was like oh I'm getting I'm all over this gold because how often do you wear them that someone's going to come up and go, well, didn't you have that on in silver? No, I'm no, no one's going to do that to me. I mean, I'm not around that much to have that happen. So 761, I don't want to put this in 416. So that's, that's a great one to get if you don't have it or put it on your wish list. Cause I can guarantee you, you will come back or one day you will wish that you picked up that necklace because it is such a classic. And this bracelet, it's, Neighborhood kids, they have them. Look, it's nine o'clock, and the neighborhood kids are still riding their bikes. Um, you could do like a tennis bracelet with this, and then put this on after that, and have the whole thing on. You could do an arm party. Uh, really, when you have um, the tassels, it's all very whimsical. So something to think about. You know that you don't get that. Go to the department store, see if you can find that. Today's challenge will be. So let me just check and make sure I'm not. Oh, well, let's take a look at that. Yes, two of the necklaces or two of the bracelets. So maybe tell me because I pulled the bracelets. Either way, two bracelets would look bomb. Okay, I'm going to pull out two necklaces. I'll start there. And we'll see. And I'll do it the way I always say to do it. I will take it off of here. And you put it on the first, let me see here, the first little circle here, that, that one. So you kind of have it be the shorter end of it. And maybe here I can even get this straightened up here. We've got time. I mean, why not, right? I'm really hopeful I get the fashion fix in for Saturday night because that'd be a great night to do it on. Everybody's just kind of hanging out, you know, a lot of fun. Let me put that on here. So I have it on the first one. So now I've kind of fixed it so you can kind of see, right? And then let me put the next one on. I'll open up a pack here and see how another one would look. I'll open one of these adult proof packaged necklaces. Remember, there's always a staple. I do try to scan these before I send them out. But there may be a day that it, where I didn't do it. So let me take it off of here. And on this one, what I will do is put it on. Again, I'll get this to lay right. They're just drop dead gorgeous. I love that they put it in gold. Well, there, now that is that. And then you put it on the last one. So let me put it on the last one here. And then we'll see how that looks. Now, when you're wearing it, you might have to adjust it accordingly. Oh, it looks like a Z piece. 
Wow, Mary, that is an awesome idea. Oh my God. Now, what you could do is, if you take this and let it hang over, you wouldn't see those other little beads. So you almost have to say, put this one um, on the, underneath. You can do it however you want it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, phew. so, all right, so that is number 761. It is gorgeous. So let me put this, I won't take your time putting these back in that, I'll do that later. I'll just kind of put them here. I know, it's like really cool. Let me just go here. You can see it on a real person. Remember shimmy? I told you about the shimmy dresses when I was little. Oh, when I grow up, I'm going to make one of those or I'm going to get one. The go-go dancers always had them on and they had shimmies the entire dress and they'd be up there. I think it was hullabaloo or whatever, some kind of, you know, shindig or something. And I was like, oh, I can't wait till I grow up and get one of those dresses. Well, I never got one of those dresses, so I'm going to have to hurry up, right? And now I get one and my whole family would be like, well, mom, mom, what are you doing? My son already goes like that. Ma, Ma, what are you doing? Like, you know me. Forget about it. All right, brand new copper cuff. So we're back to. All right, this is almost like a muted copper. It's called Garden Variety. And look at this. All of that etching on here. So ornate. It's hard to believe this is $5. Now, the number on this is 484 this way. Now, I'm going to try this on and I, I would have to work this on. So I'm not going to try to work this on. I think what I can tell you is that the petite to medium person should buy this. I would say that if you're larger, you could try to bend it out and work it on. I don't know if it's worth it. I, now, that's a great sales lady, isn't it? You know, I, no, don't buy it. But you know what I'm saying is I'm just being honest. And I think I'd be a little ticked if I thought I could buy it and it would fit me and then I'd get it and I'd be like, well, I, I can't. I can't. I have to give it away. So for those of you who are petite, with that petite wrist, I think this is perfect. Petite to medium. So if anybody likes this, let me just go here, make sure. Mm. All right. Yeah, 484. So let me know. And on this one here, I have a total of six of them. So over time, this probably won't sell, t you know, tonight or tomorrow, but over time, it'll start to go as they all do. I'm learning that now because I've seen the pattern. If that's just what happens. All right, I have more clip-on earrings. I thought I would just bring these out because they're cool. I love them in this color. They're coming in for fall. Um, and they're very glamorous. And this is number well, 700. I lost the 700 card. So this is what you're going to get for 700. Number 700. All right, clip on. But they have like that cognac kind of pearl. And then the ballerina style around it. Again, do not be fooled. They are clipped. If you're not interested in clipped, these aren't for you. But if you wanted to do just another kind of like, I'm going to put on these... I don't want to wear my pierced ears. I just want something a little bit more classy. Let's just clip all these. You could also, here again, I've got that flying up there. But here, see what I mean? Like that really stands out. That really does stand out. And what you can do too is once you put this on a piece of jewelry, you can clip it on the top part of your ear. Like when they used to get the cartilage all, you know, pierced up here. And so you could do that. So along with a multitudes of other things and I'm still kind of working on what can we do with clip-on earrings but they're so pretty they just are like if you have a top and you want to clip it like a 1940s you could clip them in there too that's what I thought so 700 if any of you want them again for Kristen I don't know which ones you have so I'm just kind of bringing them out because <sighs> I can't remember everything all right this this necklace, I think, has Sharon's name on it. But I kind of like it, too. After I was playing around with it. And I have four of these. Okay, so let's imagine that we are allowed to take vacation. And we're going to go to that island. And then the sun is kind of going down. It's kind of setting. And you've got that gauze skirt blown in the wind. And you don't need, like, fancy jewelry on there, right? What you need are wooden earrings and a wooden necklace with this color with these beads. This goes right along with those um, 
seed bead necklaces that I've been getting a lot of. There's just something artsy about it, uh, eclectic. I can just see, I, I mean, I could just, and you don't have to be on that beach to wear it, but that's kind of how I envision this is the kind of jewelry that you might bring along with you just because you don't want to pull, you would pull attention to yourself, but not in a way where someone goes, hey, let's rob them, you know? I mean, no, this here would be this. So yeah, there you go. Anybody like that? If you do, let me know. I have four of them. I'm thinking of snagging one of these out of the bag just because I think it would be fun. And now, let me try it on here just to show you. Just to show you what it'd be like on a real person. I'll open it up. Well, that's why, because it was, and it's got a cool little closure too. It's like a hook and eye kind of thing. So let's do this. All right. And get this so it's not all tangled up. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna surprise you guys. The only problem is trying to get it on and through that hook. All right, ready, ready, ready. Come on, let's get this on, Linda. All right. What about this? Look at that. This is awesome. I like that. So if any of you like this one, right here, number, yeah, six. I think I'm gonna keep this one on. I really do like this. Kind of goes with that same one that, you know, I first fell in love with. Here, I want to get this on securely. Um, that goes with the, the pink one that we all have. Like, that's where I started this journey. I was like, oh, yeah, I really like that one. And I love the color. And that's what kind of started me on this. But I'm going to get this on so I can snap it on. I'm, I'm snapping hair into it. That's what's happening. All right. I'm going to leave it on. I think it's pretty. Here, kind of pull that down a bit. Yeah. So if anybody likes number six, it's here for you. Now we can get wacky crazy here now too because there's nobody out here but, but us, right? All right. All right, this is another new necklace. And it is, it looks like it's from Spain, which is really appropriate because you all know I'm supposed to be in Spain this week, right? Dang, Corona. But you know, was it meant to be? Not, no, not at all. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to take that one journey of the pilgrimage road where you walk 550 miles from, you know, like, uh, I think it's like France to Santiago, Spain. Wasn't gonna do it this time, but I was thinking of going back and doing it. All right, so let me show you this one. It's number seven. Look at that, all that ornate work on here. It looks like it was made in Spain. And a perfect earring, like you wouldn't even have to swap this out if you didn't want to. And it has an extender on it. Isn't that pretty? It's number seven, right there. So pretty. I'm gonna keep this on the bus. Now, I think I only bought four of these because I wasn't really sure about the response. But I have these earrings that I thought would go perfect with this if you didn't want to use the earrings there or just to have these in your jewelry wardrobe because they rock. They're in a muted copper. Again, so ornate for the amount of money that you pay for this. It's unbelievable. Let me get these little things in here. All right, these are number eight. And there you go. Look at that. Number eight. Isn't that great? Throw up some hearts if you like that. I'm not sure I have you on connection anymore. That's just happening. I'm not seeing any activity at all. Look into my eyes. Let me hypnotize you. Tick tock, tick tock. Doesn't look like anybody's here anymore. Well, I'll finish the show and then maybe if you try to get back in, that's good practice anyway, right? So here's the necklace. That was number 007 right here. And here are the earrings. You do not have to buy these with them, but they are sure a good enough match right there. Okay, 
So we'll put those away and we'll move on. Fix this thing up here a little bit. I'm just wondering now um, if my marketing manager is on here, throw up a heart. Let me see. I'm going to try to use this walkie talkie because something's not right. Could be my internet too. I have one, oh, I have one person viewing right now. So maybe he came back on. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, she's not available. There's something wrong with the internet here. <sighs> okay, the show must go on. So I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. All right, so I wanted to show you this. Look, that is really, that color there makes this whole necklace pop. It is wood, it's fun. So I think I'm gonna keep one of these on up here too. Can anybody throw up hearts or any type of anything so I know if you're there? Hmm. Um, let me try to call Alana. Are you there? Send her a text, the old-fashioned way. It's always nice to run into technical difficulties. Hey, are you up there? Are you able to see me? Can't see you. Okay. It got lost. You know what? Can you guys see me now? Because. Alana, can you see me? All right. I have one person watching right now. And it went from like 14 down to one. So I'm kind of thinking that I lost all of you guys. But if I if I hit finish. Uh-oh. Cool, cool, cool. I'm getting you back. I got Elena. I got Lisa. Okay. All right, you guys. I tried this one on. I don't know if you saw that or not. This is that number, um, let me, I'm gonna go back because what I wanted to show you guys was something really cool. So, it, 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 it's all pooped out and I, I don't know. <sighs> COVID, COVID did it. All right. And I hate to end here because I have, this is where I'm gonna show you all the good stuff, right? Um, okay, there's Shelly, good. Okay, we got Shelly, we got Lisa, we got Elaine. Throw up some hearts so I see ya. Because I know once I push that finish button, no one's getting back in, and then I'd have to start up again. So I don't think we want to do that. It pooped out. I got Shelly. I don't know what happened to Alana. She's not even getting my... No, I'm at the Canadian Police Department. Oh, no. The damn grandson. Ugh. Ethan? You know what? It's such a joy to be a mother, isn't it? All right. Can um, I'm still seeing that um, I'm not having anybody here. You know what, guys? I think, okay, I think I'm going to call it quits because it's 9 o'clock already. I have, I'll show you the things that I have here on Saturday night, okay? And, yeah, I'm sorry that this happened. I really don't know what's going on. So if you could just um, bear with me, there's no sense in me going out and coming back in because I think something's going on in the cloud. All right, all right, I will see you all on Saturday or I will let you know about the fashion fix if I come on any earlier, okay? Love you all, sorry about this, take care.